Bajaj consumer joins us now. Let's understand from him how things have transpired for Bajaj consumer for the quarter go by and progressively now that uh, uh, oil derivative prices are coming under check. Are we in for a better quarter in terms of the margin impact? Uh, Jadip, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Let's first understand the big picture for you. Uh, how things have transpired both in terms of volume growth and rural demand? So, uh, yeah, rightly the two questions of volume and rural demand both are under still under pressure. Uh, we are seeing some signs of easing off as far as the urban markets are concerned, but uh, rural markets, especially in the Hindi speaking belt, has still been under pressure. Volume growth as far as the last nine months uh, are concerned, uh, the market is about 4% down as far as air oils are concerned. This is the overall market. We are about uh, about 7% growth as far as air oils are concerned. Nine months volume sales coming down i mean is this a new trend that indians are consuming less uh, hair oil is this a trend and you think this could be a multi-year trend or this is largely because of slowdown i think i think this is more of a slowdown it is not only our category that is seeing a decline but it is it is also in the other fmcg category more of the discretionaries if you see have been under pressure i think the food inflation has been high and the rural markets are rural uh, uh, markets are uh, feeling the pinch of it. Yeah. All right, uh, Mr. Nandi, thanks so much for taking time out and joining in. What is the outlook when it comes to your EBITDA margins in terms of what you believe the company can actually clock in? Are we set to go back to high teens? So, uh, we had taken a <clears throat> decision to uh, push our entire range beyond almond drops hair oil, and we have seen a good uptick as far as the uh, new products are concerned from a saliency about 6% last year this time we are now at about 13%. So a lot of investments are happening as far as marketing spends are concerned beyond almond drops hair oil. Almond drops is now about 60% of our overall marketing budget. So we have taken a conscious decision to up our marketing spends. As far as EBITDA is concerned you're right the LLP prices have come down a bit. Uh, uh, refined mustard is also showing signs of a decline. So raw material basket overall will take a, a bit of a decline and hence uh, it should directly flow into our EBITDA margins in the coming months. Okay, fair enough. Um, what is your outlook in terms of market share? Have you managed to gain strong market share? How are each of your, you know, uh, how what is it that you're penciling in for the long haul? So our market shares have more or less remained uh, in a similar uh, number as far as Nielsen data is concerned. But if you look at uh, the numbers that go beyond Nielsen, which is markets of e-commerce and modern trade, uh, including DMART, I think we have gained a significant market share in these areas. And hence, if you see amongst uh, air oils, we have been one of the highest growing companies at about 7% uh, year growth as far as air oils are concerned. Tell me what visibility do you have in raw material costs because they've been acutely volatile in the quarter gone by. Yeah, so we have seen uh, a clear uh, declines that are happening, a reduction as far as LLP prices are concerned, which were at its peak during quarter two. In quarter three, we saw some reduction. In quarter four, the direction continues. But the, this will remain a little range bound. We see Russia already announcing that they will cut. Uh, cut production, which has already uh, increased crude oil prices a bit. So we'll have to keep monitoring them. But on the on the short to mid term, we feel that the LLP prices will be lower than what it has been in the last two quarters. Or so. so incrementally, when do you see things will turn for you? We had the management of Mahindra and Mahindra, which is representative of the rural demand. That tractor sales are booming. They are of the view that tractor demand, which is a function of underlying rural demand and demand from farmer, is at a peak. But we are getting a completely contrasting view from you about the rural demand. Mahindra and Mahindra is saying rural demand is strong. You are saying rural demand is not strong. So if you look at, I think I think you have to split the demand into two parts, which is in the demand in terms of essentials, which is in farming, as well as in demand in terms of discretion. I think the disposable income in the hands of the poor today is a little stressed, mainly because of the food inflation. And I think that is what is impacting not only our category, but as I said, in fact, all the other FMCG categories, as we see the Nielsen data, it shows that all of them are under quite a bit of stress. And I think, I think if you ask me when it is expected to normalize, I think in the urban markets already some bit of normalization has happened. And uh, we guess that 
uh, as things uh, as the inflation prices uh, inflation starts going down a bit i think we should see a, a, a rebound of the rural demand as well in the coming quarters one final question some would say that bajaj consumer is highly dependent on one product and despite it's a bajaj company they have not really diversified too much you did mention that you are looking at expanding so tell us a bit more about where are you looking at expanding are you slightly slow in expanding because if i look at some of your competitors they have a range of products so yeah that's an interesting question i think uh, we, we, if you look at uh, our uh, medium to long term aim has been to uh, do two three things one is obviously expand in the range of hair oils itself so we were earlier mainly focused in the light hair hair oil category which uh, contributes to about 15% of the overall uh, hair oils market today we are playing about 83% of the overall hair oil markets including the amla the coconut range etc quite a few launches has happened and that obviously is our core forte so that is where we went in first uh, we are also looking at beyond hair oils into other categories of hair care as well as in terms of skin care so we uh, have already launched three products in the almond drops under the almond drops umbrella which is basically the soap that we launched <laughs> last year uh, and or rather beginning of uh, this financial year and the serum in oil as well as the uh, almond argan oil there are two more products coming up in the uh, near quarter and we are continue, will continue to expand our almond drops umbrella which will cover hair care as well as uh, as well as the skin care category and that's why you see that in spite of such difficult uh, demand conditions we have been able to grow well and our new products saliency which was 6% last year as i said is already gone up to about 13% and we think that this can further aggressively go up okay all right thank you so much then sir for joining in and giving us a view as to how business is shaping up at bajaj consumer just a quick re look at the markets we're down a half a percent on the frontline indices but mind you the broader end of the market is already languishing in trade it's a bit of underperformance vis-a-vis -vis the frontliners close to the lowest point of the trading day names like city union bank bal krishna info edge coforge lupin and garden reach those are some of the stocks under pressure quick break we'll be right back